Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can run Llama 3.1 locally as a code assistant in your Visual Studio code using Olama. We will be using an extension from Code GPT for this demo. We will be installing it locally in our VS Code, Code Editor, and then we will also use Olama to run this Llama 3.1 8 billion model in quantized format and then we will use it as a code assistant. Before I show you this installation, let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website plus a discount code which you can use to get 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So stay uh, tune on their website, check it out, I'm sure you'll like it. This is a VM I'm using Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 48 GB of VRAM. By the way, if you don't know what Olama is, Olama is one of the easiest and quickest tool to run large language models locally. I already have installed the Olama. If you don't know how to do it, please search my channel. I have done like already heaps of videos on it. So let me clear the screen first and then make sure that Olama service is running like sudo system ctl start olama.service or then clear me screen simply do Olama list and you will see that I already have Llama 3 running there with the latest one and I just downloaded it five days ago let me clear the screen here and if you don't know the version and the command to run it, simply go to Olama's website and search for your model and then come here, click on it, it will copy it, go back to your terminal and then simply run it again. It is going to download the Llama 3.1 and then it is going to run it locally. So let's wait for it to run and then download it. It is going to download all the layers, verify the checksum and you should be good to go. Almost there. All done. Olama, the Lama 3.1 is running. We can just ask it uh, whatever you like to ask. And there you go. All running locally and doing awesome stuff. And by the way, it's not a full model, it's a contest one, but more than enough for our use case. Let's exit and let me clear the screen. And now when you would do the Olama list, you can see that Llama 3.1 is there. So our Olama model is all good and set. This was the first step. Then go back to your browser and then go to this page where we are in the marketplace. I am in Chrome browser, by the way. And this is a VS Code marketplace where you can grab your extension for VS Code. You can either search it from VS Code or you can just copy this command here. Open your VS Code then do control plus capital P and it is going to open this window or you could simply go to on the left hand side click on this extensions and then you can search for code GPT here so let me quickly do control plus P and then type this command here it is going to install the extension locally so as you can see that it is installing it let's wait for it to finish installing just cancel it, it just is my system. Now it is saying that sign in to use code GPT plus feature. So I'm not signing it now, but if you want, you can sign it on your website. And there is some free tier and then there is some pressing of course, which you can check out. And then you can click here to see what this is about. So you see we have all of this. You can read more through it. What exactly this does, click on settings here and then extension settings and then you can either put your API key here and lot of stuff but I'm just going to for the AI provider I'm just going to click on this drop down and select Olama from here you can select lot of stuff as you can see from your screen and then I already have selected the Olama rest you can go with English there are other query languages too and there is a quite a good list of languages and then you can also check out what sort of code provider you need and all that stuff but 
for the for our purpose i'm just going to go with uh, you can go with llama 3 instruct or whatever you like so i'm just going to select o llama 3 instruct and i will also download it so i just selected this o llama llama 3 instruct so for that let's go back to our o llama and that's simply do o in small of course o llama pull llama 3 and then tag is instruct so let's wait for it to get downloaded and then this is just for the code completion if you like to select it it's not mandatory and that should be done so i'll just go back here meanwhile and then you can just keep everything as is so this looks good now let me close the screen so i have just opened an existing simple python code program which is reversing a list and our installation of extension is also complete for code gpt our old llama is all done as you can see that we also have downloaded the new model which is old llama instruct so we have two llama 3 model and then you see in the vs code you have this code gpt extension click on it it is going to open it on the left hand side make it that bit bigger here from here you can select your ai in the provider just select old llama and then for the model i'm just going to select llama 3.1 latest and this is our new code assistant okay so it is also asking something i don't know what this is saying i'm not going to go to sign up at the moment so you can um, do the explain here like explain and then click on send let's wait for it and there you go you can see that on the left hand side it has just put some comments in like this function takes a list as input and returns a reverse list and then the slicing sentence which uh, it i used in line number two it is also describing it and then it is also showing me what exactly what is uh, exactly happening here in terms of example usage you can also fix a code if you like or you can uh, you know you can also use the at document or file mention looks quite good let's try to get a code fix so in this one slash and then fix and then i'm just going to give it the javascript code let me make it slightly bigger and then press enter we'll just make it more bigger the better so if i come down on the upper pan there you go so this function takes this so this is a previous one and there you go so the java one that is good and it has fixed it good stuff and then i believe if you can also just put the uh, insert code here you just click on insert code it is going to insert it on your right hand pan which is quite good i'll just delete the existing one and then just click on insert code here good stuff and then you can explain the code which we already have done here another cool thing about this extension is that for example if you have a project like let me open a project here so i'm just going to say open folder and then i'm just going to go to my project and then click on open here it is it has already opened my project yep so i already have one python file my test.py in this project and then now click on code gpt we are in the, this project click here slash explain enter and then add and you see it automatically gave you my test.py select it and then click on send it is going to uh, do the code explanation here that this provided code is a python script named this it contains the uh, this breakdown of code and all that stuff how good is that amazing stuff and then you can even reload it so fairly good tool i would say really like it i think uh, pretty well use of using llama 3.1 locally without paying any ap call or anything so pretty generous of them if you're looking for more i think option they have this pricing stuff which you can check you can use more models more model provider a lot of integrations are there um so there you go you can open ai in tropic microsoft go here amazon bedrock hugging face lot of stuff is there so anyway another way of using llama 3.1 as code assistant 
locally o llama all for free privately with your code that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the link to this code gpt in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching